My therapist is like sort of the hero of the show is the feedback. People seem to love her. her. She's the best. Her name's Barb, and I've been with her almost 10 years, and she's like pretty inappropriate. Like there's a lot of rules to being a doctor. She doesn't care about those at all. She like once, the way she told me she was moving to Mexico is she just showed me, she sat on the couch with me and was like, hey, I bought this house in Mexico. And I was like, okay. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to live there now. And I was like, what? And now all of our sessions happen via Skype. A lot of times while she's just like chilling in a hammock. Wow. Yeah, she's like, how are you doing? I'm like, not as good as you. you yeah. Know? Maybe that's some strange way of sort of helping. Like by, I don't <laughs> yeah. know, like by helping her. Maybe, I don't know, it's interesting. Yeah, it's definitely, you can see what retirement looks like. She's like, <laughs> she's having her cake and eating two on that one for sure. So, so is she good with boundaries? She's not the best. She's not the best. Like, <laughs> when she lived in, uh, she used to live in, in Jersey, where I grew up too. And uh, yeah, go back. my favorite place. And uh, there was one night she saw me in a show in New York and my parents were also there and she asked them for a ride home <laughs> and they gave it to her. Like, that's not how that's, if you've never been in therapy, like that's- <laughs> Doesn't work like Your that. therapist is never supposed to be alone in a car with your, with your parents. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Like, I always wonder if she like leaned forward to my mom and was like, hey, let's ease up with the Catholic guilt, you know? Like, <laughs> like take our foot off the gas on that one.